Okay, today is March the 9th, 2012. My name is Tanya Fincham, along with Juliana Nicolasian. We're with the Oklahoma State University Library, and we're conducting an oral history project called the Centennial Oklahoma Centennial Farm Families. And today we're in Lawton, Oklahoma, to speak with the Watkins family. We have John, Francis, and then Mary Crawford Johnston. So thank you for having us today. Thank you. Let's get started and have someone tell us how the farm, the land, came to be in the family to begin with. Well, my grandfather traveled from Gorin, Missouri, northeastern part of the, of the state, down to St. Louis, where he was employed as, uh, down there for a time, and then came on down to El Reno when he heard of the land being open. And so, in 19, August of 1901, while well, he came down for the drawing here in Lawton, and uh, he uh, ended up in the lottery and, and uh, drew this place and when they opened it for settlement. We haven't had too many uh, farms talk about a lottery. Do you know how that worked? Have any idea? Uh, no, not really. Uh, the government set up a lottery system when, when they acquired the land and uh, and then they advertise it as being to be homesteaded by people. And so I guess he heard of that. And so he traveled down here to, to homestead some land and have his property. Do you know if he got to pick which property he wanted or they just drove, if it was your turn, you he, got what they had? He got to pick his property in the lottery. They drew numbers and uh, I'm going back for, from some articles that I read about him, and and his number. They had over 6,500 applicants for for the drawing down here, and uh, he ended up being in a 332 or 3033. And from the story I read, they they drew 150 names a day, and so he got his number drew, drawn on the, the second day, and I think there was. 12 that didn't show up. I'm not sure of the number, but there was. And so he ended up being, uh, his number ended up being 313. Prior prior to the, the drawing of the numbers, he and some other fellows got together with a surveyor and came out and surveyed the land. He heard where the best land was, and so they came out and found the boundaries of, of the land, and so he had had in mind of the places that he wanted to choose should his number be drawn. And so whenever his number was drawn, when he got his first pick, he was lucky enough to get his first pick of, of the property. And so that's this current place. Do you know what about the place he wanted? What, I mean, what was he looking for when he chose this place? Well, he wanted fairly level ground for farming and uh, a source of water, or close to a source of water at least. And that was his main, main requirements. And that was 1901? 1901. Was he married at that time? No, he wasn't. He was single. Abbott uh, and his came in a wagon across, across the creek with a bit some major guys. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember that. Uh, you, you, you can I'm tell sure that story then. I'm, Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, no, I, there was, uh, you know, they. They wanted the survey uh, had a wagon and and they had to uh, cross Creek the Cray Cray's uh, Cash Creek and they did and then and then they found this <laughs> or he chose uh, chose this thing. So did they did he have to build something to to claim it? He had to build prove up on it, like what they call proving up on it, and. And he built the, the first house, that, uh, the one-room house that he, he uh, built whenever he settled here. And it, he put it on the west side of the place because the, the place right next to us, to the west, had a flowing spring. And that's where he could get water. And so he had his first house over there on the west side of the place to be near that. And it's still standing? The, the, is it? The one-room house is still standing. Made out of wood or? Yes. Well, it's, it's showing its age, but it. it uh, I'd say for 100 years old, it probably is. And tarnadoes and everything. Okay. Well, what other buildings did he build in at that at that point? Or I guess 
as he grew with the farm? Well, later on, I'm, he built a, a big, big barn, uh, and I, I just noticed that uh, it was standing in 1924, and I, I'm sure it was built prior to that. I don't know. I, I talked to my aunt out in California, and she she didn't recollect when when the barn was built, but I know it was standing in 1924. But uh, I'm sure he had at least that, and. Uh, uh, others, I, I don't know of, uh, at the moment. Well, what was he grow, growing on the farm, or what was his product? Well, I think in the early days, uh, he had to, they had to plow at least 10 acres to, to be able to claim it and, and show that it was being farmed. But uh, in the early days, he was a water well driller, and he, he drilled water wells around over, all over the country. I had heard once that he drilled some in Lawton. Now, where about, I don't know, but uh, I know that he drilled several around in this area. In fact, he drilled the source of water that uh, is for the current farm. Two, two wells here. That, that, that supplemented his farm income yes. then, or if he had any of that? Yes. Well, at what point did he get married then? 1907. And was she a local girl, or did she did he go well, back to his my, uh, my, uh, uh, the reason I know that is my uh, parents got married that same year too, <laughs> but they're not here. But anyway, he married a, a somebody who had come down at the same time and homesteaded in the uh, Roseland community, which is a little bit west of here. And uh, so that family was over there, and I guess they met. He used to he and he used to uh, attend church, I guess, over there. And I, I guess that's how they met. One book said he was the song leader and she was the organist, I think. Oh yeah, at the, the, the first the church the, in the school. And his, and his name was? William Jackson Watkins. William, and so then the wife was? Edna. Edna. Mary Edna. Edna. Weimer. Edna. W -I -M -E -R. That's my husband's name. First name. But they're his, his, his folks' uh, last name was Weimer. And how many children did they have? I guess uh, as I don't know of any that they lost. One uh, still living a hundred years old. Yeah, and Mary first uh, is her pictures in there. Uh, they in that in uh, interviewed her from Cameron here uh, several years ago, and I've got the uh, but uh, in fact they called her and asked her to. Uh, she was in the 90s then, but she's 100 now. But they called her to ask for her uh, to give, and she told him, well, you know, I have a lot of records right there, but said, I can't put my hand on them right now, but said, could I, uh, what, there you go, email, 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 <laughs> and that 90 something. <laughs> she was able to do that, and she still, has a good mind. She is a teacher. Both of her, their girls were teachers. And Education was important then. They taught around in several, several of the neighboring schools around over the country. I don't recollect which ones or anything, but uh, yeah. But when uh, when they got uh, old uh, old enough so they could go to school, he had uh, he rented this. Uh, uh, out, uh, arm and and went to uh, town so the kids could go to school and and uh, then when this oldest girl came uh, then she finished high high school at, at fifteen, 15. and then uh, it was the first year that Cameron had uh, uh, got not a college it was a uh, uh, what what do you call it. Uh, Agricultural College, I guess, or and uh, she got she uh, went there the first year and the second year, and they just had two years then, and uh, she graduated from there, and then she went different other schools. Where where did they say? Uh, uh, I, don't I, I can't. Yeah, they in the had a in the article it said where she went, but I've forgotten. So they had four children, and then when it was time for the farm to be passed to the next generation, which of those four children ended up My dad. with it? My dad. Your dad. His name was? John Weimer Watkins. Okay. 
They and called him Lyman. Was there any issue that he would get it, or was he the only one out of the four that wanted it, or how did that work? Well, the two sisters were living in California, and, and my uncle, he lived in Lawton, but uh, he, he ended up, my dad ended up buying out the other other kids and, okay. and ended up with them. You remember roughly about when that was? Just My grandfather died in 1966, so we probably 67, possibly. And then when it passed to the next generation, who, who's, who, well, I don't know, is it has yet? These two. Okay. <laughs> They'll stay. So. And it's already recorded in the car, courthouse. <laughs> already decided how it's going to go, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll end with that question, so we'll come back around to it. That's what's going to happen in the next 100 years, we'll ask that toward the end, so. Okay, so once your father got it, what was his, what did he do? What was his product? He was mostly a farmer. Uh, he raised wheat and alfalfa and uh, and a few oats. And I I know there was a few one year where he told me that uh, the green bugs got the wheat, and so they planted peanuts and thrashed them one year. Uh, that was kind of an odd year, I think. I know in years past he raised cotton also. Barley? Did he ever raise barley? Yeah, we raised some barley. I know when we got married, uh, we uh, we had car, uh, cotton then. We had people, you know, you didn't have the, strip, uh, the machines like we do now. And we uh, 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 hired uh, people, and we still have them around. Whatever, once in a while, I'll find one that still no knew that uh, he, they used to fix, uh, we call it bowl, uh, pick bowls mm -hmm. instead of picking cotton. When I grew up out, uh, in, in Oklahoma, Western, and, uh, but uh, uh, they uh, did that, uh, and, but I didn't want any of that. When, <laughs> <laughs> after I got married, I didn't want any of that. So, uh, so, he got somebody to do that. Well, while we're on that, let's talk about getting married. When did you When did you get married? 1949. And how did How had you met your husband? I was I came I was uh, in a uh, nursing hall uh, room at uh, at Houston, and uh, I, I came, my brother had come over for Sears from over the war and so I wanted to come and they didn't wouldn't let me so I just came anyways and I quit <laughs> and uh, then uh, and then they had moved down my fair moved uh, down here and and this is and farmer lived down here first time I time, uh, saw him uh, I, I had already uh, everybody my family like and liked him, and then cho chosen me, <laughs> him for me. And uh, the first time I saw him, while well, he was uh, going down the road, I kept going, uh, driving uh, or uh, walking down to the uh, mailbox there to, uh, and I saw him. But then, then he went to the school church where my family came to, and uh, that's where I met him. And then when did you move to the farm here? Uh, well, I, I, I well uh, to to here uh -huh. in 1949, but uh, my family lived uh, a mile on the north, and and uh, I worked at Southwestern at the hospital uh, for till I got married. So once you became a farmer's wife, what were some of your chores? Milk cows. Uh, he he had cows, so I, I could help him because I was grew, you know, I I uh, milk uh, when I was a kid and went to school, and uh, so I was able to do that, and and we had a, a, a cream cellar se uh, separator, and uh, and uh, we uh, had uh, cream sold in. Town. Chickens? Uh, he, I, I, yeah, they, oh, I, I didn't much like them because they make too much uh, uh, 
in fact, the old house out here, and there was, and I, I'm so sorry I did this, but that when Mr. Watkins back, came back, and he, we have this beautiful uh, big bush, uh, lilac bush, and it smells so good and everything, but the chickens get under there. And so I told him, I said, I wish I believed you had just cut that down, and he did. And now I wish I hadn't. <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, we had chickens that were out west of here in the chicken house, still over there. And so uh, you, you know, you no longer worked off the farm at that point. No, you just work. No, I worked at the hospital, and then I, I got married, and then uh, after going uh, uh, doing that, well, uh, I quit, and uh, then I. I uh, was asked to uh, fill or uh, to take a job at uh, one of the doctor's office in Lawton, and and uh, after I did that, and uh, and John was born but from the doctor that was l looking uh, uh, that I worked for, and uh, then um, so I quit again, and then after that, well, I've had a uh, a. Uh, a neighbor that had surgery, and I went uh, stayed with him one night. And the girl, the superintendent at the hospital, saw me, and she said, "Francis, would you uh, consider working uh, for uh, three till eleven, uh, giving medicaines, medicaines, And I said, "Well, we'll see." It's my husband, and he he agreed, and so I did that. Until uh, I guess I, I yeah I was working <laughs> I was working for her, um, uh, at the hospital and uh, that and the superintendent of nurses uh, was a uh, woman and uh, she uh, another doctor uh, called uh, or, now this is this is different this is uh, uh, the first one I had. Uh, uh, or, or, or she, anyway, she, she, uh, he, this uh, Dr. Cole was asking uh, for his, his uh, had uh, his girl had uh, uh, quit, and and he was looked back and trying to find someone, and she considered she uh, told him told me or told him, and uh, so uh, he was going to come and talk to me, and uh, she told me that he was. So I, I thought, well, I'm, I have your uh, sister's uh, stairs, and I went down. I said, I'm, I think, because he, she saw him, she he saw them coming up the stairs. So I went down the stairs. Well, he beat me down there almost, <laughs> and I went work to work. That's when John, I was when I uh, uh, got met Perry, uh, and uh, then John, I was, uh, and I quit again, and. Uh, and then uh, after I uh, would uh, work, I mean, when I, uh, I had, you know, I knew several uh, girls that lived in, that uh, worked uh, for different doctors. And when uh, they'd call me and ask me if I'd fill in for somebody, and I would, and I did that for a long time until the, finally I got uh, uh, the last doctor that I worked for, I worked for 25 years. and. Uh, he was out of the uh, the Indian Hospital uh, when he went into practice, and that's where I. And the girl that uh, took my place when uh, uh, John was born, well, uh, she suggested that, me, uh, that I, uh, and uh, so he called, and I came out. He and his wife came out and, and interviewed me, and I decided to go to work, and we stayed there until for 25 years. 26, I get. he says 26 or 7, 67 and that's when I started. So but I, I, I didn't mean to get it. My, my, I didn't mind. My, my. Okay. That income helped the farm, I guess. Having that income helped. Well, it, yeah, a little bit, I guess. Well, do you remember your first tractor? Did what? Your first tractor, John, do you remember? Oh. Uh. The old M is the first one I remember. I think there were one or two previous to that. Uh, 
uh, older international models, but uh, and I think I, Dad mentioned them, but I, I don't remember what models there were. But the first one I remember is the M. Is he said Dad do not remember him telling me that he bought his first new tractor in 19 late December 1940. It was a 41 model, and he bought it in a field cultivator for $1,450. We go very far today. <laughs> uh, we ain't buy a lawnmower these days. Not even get the gas. <laughs> Do you remember when you first drove one? I'm assuming you did. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. I don't remember driving that one my first time. My first one, I think, was my our little B tractor international. It's smaller one now than Ray Hay with it, and so I could drive it because it was small enough that I could handle it. And uh, that was more or less my first experience with tractors, I guess. Mary, did you get to ride one? Drive one? One time, I steered it when we were digging potatoes out here in the garden, that's it. But I, I helped drive trucks whenever they would haul wheat or uh, when they'd pick up the hay bales with the, what's that called? Motor. Sled. Yeah, that's, I, that's about hey, all I did is, big trucks is for, about it. Uh, with a tractor. Uh, I don't remember you doing that either. Yeah. I, I uh, helped with uh, my brother and my and Weimer, and uh, they uh, did uh, hay on my dad's place, and and uh, I uh, tried to ride, uh, take the tractor, and uh, he had a sled, you know, and he did he he didn't like my driving on my uh, tractor because I just I knew. Uh, dumping a lot of times, <laughs> putting, putting the sled, the hay on the sled. <laughs> so while while John was in the farm or out in the field helping, what were you doing? Nothing really. I was just going to school and during when I was growing up. Yeah, I just did you did you do much canning? Would you have canned? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> very little. That was a quick note. <laughs> that's not my job. She worked outside the home, so she was, I guess that's true. Yeah. Well, did you have a garden? Mr. Watkins. Is my, and I worked in the garden. That's a, when I got the flu. And uh, they, they stayed out here while I was sick. He and I worked together. And then Wammer, uh, John uh, would help him, too. So if you weren't doing the canning, if you had the garden, who was then? Anyone? Or you just ate it fresh when you came in? Just fresh. <laughs> well, I'm did, sure. you, did you belong to a homemaker club? I guess if you worked, you probably didn't have time for that either. Uh, mm -hmm. Did Grandma Watkins can? His, his, uh, uh, my grand, uh, my uh, mother-in-law did. And, uh, I don't remember the name of it or anything, but uh, that was before. She, of course, she didn't do that when, after I, I got me. It was in the, uh, the, uh, in the family, and his and his sisters were out in California, and and their brother lived in Laden. He lived in a in a or used uh, uh, in a uh, machine. Uh, place when his uh, uh, uncle used uh, or uh, had uh, a business and, and my brother-in-law worked for him in law. When, when, when the two of you were in high school, were you in FFA or 4-H or? or, or, yeah. or mm -hmm. And what was, your, what was your specialty or did you have one? Oh, really, in, in high school, I didn't have specialty. I showed a steer one year, and then my senior year, but uh, mine was just uh, commercial cattle, mostly. Well, t and today, what's, what's happening on the farm today? Pretty much the same with commercial cattle and wheat, and I uh, raised some alfalfa, and uh, that's about it for, for this. And is it still the 160, or is it? Grown. Well, it's it's grown. Uh, my grandfather bought an eighty, and I don't know what year he bought it. It was very early on. Actually, I mean, he he uh, art, uh, had a farm on sixty five, 
and he sold it and he bought the eight. But I don't know when. That was before in my. No, I didn't. I'd forgotten about that. Yeah, I remember now a little bit but, uh, hearing about that, but I'd forgotten it. But uh, anyway, he had the eighty, and uh, which added to this one, and then uh, back in the I think early seventies, maybe late, maybe late sixties, by uh, a farm that Dad had been renting for years and years, owned by a couple of uh, uh, elderly women couple of elderly sisters while well, they had passed away and so he ended up buying that quarter section which was a mile and a quarter south of the well, was right across the road from the 80 and so he bought that and then you know back in 89 when I bought a uh, quarter quarter section less 120 less 20 acres uh, across the road south from our current homestead place He's pushing up around 500 then, getting in there. <laughs> yeah, he's dirt. He's uh, uh, rents signed too. Leases. Yes. I'll uh, talk about what buildings are on the, the property today. Well, the the old homestead, the one room shack that my grandfather built is still standing. Uh, the first barn, large barn that he built. It got blown away in 1951. That was before I was born, but but uh, it got blown away, and so then they replaced it with our current Quonset barn out west of the house here. And uh, then the old shop is still standing out there that grandfather and grand and dad used to use when they chicken were food. repairing. Chicken pot. Okay. Part of it was a chicken mm -hmm. shed, and since then we've had. Two more larger barns. Okay. And I noticed one of them was covered in tin. They're all, they're all they? covered in tin. Any the reason for that? Preserved mostly and probably because that was what was available. Okay. Uh, We've noticed that on other places and just hadn't asked what, what spurred them to do that too. So, um, so you grew up in this house? Or yeah. no, the, no, the first one was set right, right south of here. It yeah, what? My, the, oh, the uh, the house. Uh, it's a uh, we've got a picture on the phone uh, on the oh. wall. wall. Is it okay uh, to but uh, actually, when uh, when he uh, met Mary, Mr. Watkins, uh, he uh, had uh, he bought uh, a piece uh, a, a two room uh, little. Uh, uh, house and moved it out there and then uh, when the kids I guess when the kids started uh, being born well they added two more uh, to that those two and plus the old old uh, shack that he had and uh, uh, so they, this is where where uh, my kids lived uh, of course they were born in the southwestern uh, yeah that's this is the old Oh, and the, this is a cellar, center, I mean cellar, and it's it's uh, blue, uh, brick inside, and then uh, grass up. And that's out here in the, as we yes. drove in, right? Uh -huh. Right there. Well, do, do you still use it, or can it be used? Oh well, yeah. We've got to, I've got the uh, well system hooked down in there, the pressure tank and all is down in there, so it doesn't freeze. So yes, it's being used. And for a tornado shelter. And there's probably we have one in, underneath. The, okay. He's probably there's probably some uh, uh, jars of something down there, <laughs> but I, I don't like uh, buds or or uh, varmints, <laughs> so I don't go <laughs> ever down in there. <laughs> but uh, see that uh, uh, pattern over there is, of course, it's it was on the on my, uh, here, and then here's the old one, and, and be, behind that, but uh, uh, it was right to, next to the uh, set, uh, cellar, and uh, you, well, you just have to take off, uh, or, uh, step off the porch and get a hand there. That was before my time. And, uh, well, about when did the electricity come to the farm? 
You'll have to answer that one. I don't know. Right. Here before I, I, I don't. I don't remember either. Uh, in the fifties or sixties? Oh, I, or I, I, I don't. I'm sure about that. Probably the same because I lived out western in uh, western Oklahoma, and uh, I can remember when we get in, got Chris uh, 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 yeah, but. Uh, uh, I, they, it was here when I got here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where. Probably the same about the same time. And running water, indoor plumbing. Indoor plumbing whenever they had electricity. Okay. An outhouse until then. Probably. Uh, I remember an old outhouse sitting right out west of, of the house out there in the orchard. Uh, whenever I was a little kid, but it, it wasn't being used at the time. But I mean, it was still there. Okay. Well, what were holidays like back when you were living in that house? We just our family, right, or, you know, get together, uh, have uh, Christmas, and uh, we didn't, uh, did, did we celebrate very much except the, uh, two, uh, on Christmas, uh, you know. Thanksgiving. Mostly, I guess, probably the most celebrations probably over the church when they had the church program and mm -hmm. things like that. But uh, I don't remember too much at home. I do remember one time uh, Mrs. Dayton made me a bunny rabbit cake for what my fifth birthday. She <laughs> had a birthday party. She she made one for our set uh, or my uh, Mr. and Mrs. Watkins fiftieth anniversary too. But, uh, So church was an important part of your life? Uh-huh. They got married on a Sunday. She and Daddy got married on a Sunday after church, didn't you? They what? You got married on a Sunday after yeah. church? No, we ate before. Before church, okay. We met, uh, bought, uh, and uh, then we went to church. And then <laughs> then I went on, we went to our uh, honeymoon down to Carlsbad Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you went to church every Sunday, I guess, was the Sunday noontime meal anything special with it each Sunday? Uh, you just had to eat, you know. Of course, I, uh, Mr. and Ms. Watkins didn't have just the four children, but I'm, my uh, family had a lot of uh, kids, and, uh, and uh, I don't know uh, if, if we were there, well, we... My mom was a sick, the uh, uh, cook because we, as kids, uh, we helped in the uh, in with your farming and uh, uh, the whole uh, hoeing, uh, you know, and pulling bowls. It when we were growing kids, uh, we in fact we had to stay out of school to take uh, to bowl. Uh, and Bo uh, could uh, work in the field to, to pick the cotton. Roasted potatoes. I remember roasted potatoes for Sunday lunch mm -hmm. all the time. It's yeah. delicious. She's a good cook. It's still, it's still good, too. <laughs> no fried chicken. Fast fried chicken. Oh, yeah. Chicken. Yeah, whenever later on when Grandpa was living out there and, and why he would come over here after Sunday. We'd go to church on Sunday and Mama would cook lunch and he would come over and eat with us. And so we had a TV over here and he and I'd sit down there and watch TV and I remember him telling me, he said, he said he'd be sitting there and watching and he said they'd, they'd kneel down and pray a while and then get up and go to fighting. So, <laughs> about a football game. <laughs> <laughs> and probably just one or two channels at that time, I bet. I'm sure, yeah. Two. <laughs> black and white. Yes. Uh, yeah. They live, They moved back to the old, uh, we, we built this part of the house and uh, when, and so they, uh, uh, Was that 1960? I don't know. Yeah. Is it? Anyway, they, they came back here and, and uh, after we built this part of uh, this part and, and uh, they uh, moved back to the farm and stayed until he, she died, and then uh, and uh, then he died. The, uh, you know, I was talking about earlier about the Roseland community over there. They had Roseland School, I guess, and then the Roseland Church. But uh, 
uh, my grandfather and my dad tore down the old Roseland school and used the lumber in the old part of our current house. They always recycled it. In that, in that storm, uh, in the uh, uh, place, though, they had church too. And he, uh, he was uh, the first uh, uh, song leader, and uh, his, uh, my mother in law was a pianist. All of the kids, but but uh, well, I've heard didn't he did had could uh, uh, play a, a some kind of a horn, but most of the others uh, were real good. In fact, I got I had a, a page a, a picture of Mr. Watkins. Uh, he used to uh, used uh, to speak, uh, play with a real group of uh, people. And, uh, the band who played for yeah, President Roosevelt, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. okay, a whole bunch. He's the second on the front door, the on the left side. Mm. I noticed there was a water, a, a windmill. What was it? Yes. Is there any any story about it? Uh, I get back in the early days when my grandfather moved to town uh, for the kids to go to school. Uh, uh, he rented the farm out, and the one that rented it, they had they put up the windmill, you know, so he could get water out of there to water cattle. Does it still work? It still works. Much. It had to have a new new windmill head put on it. Uh, it was years and years ago that a storm came through. I guess when it blew the old barn away, it kind of tore the head up, and eventually over the years, away it wore out, and so we had to put a new head on the top of it, but. Uh, still got water in the well and was still pumped. And this when they in the uh, pick on the uh, cellar is uh, where our work the water that we use now. The pump. Mm -hmm. It's it, it electric, yeah. And as he said, he put the, it down there. So uh, the when the freeze, well, the, we still have. It wouldn't freeze down there, and we still have water. And we noticed there were power lines running across the property. Was there? When did that happen? And uh, the discussion and I don't know what years it was. I know my grandfather and several other people got together to try to fight it. He tried to get them to go down the side of the place to try to get them to alter the route, but they wouldn't do it. And threw him into the main, I guess, but. He and, and several other people, others around, that it was going across, well, they got together to try to fight it. But, but uh, it ended up, I guess they got some kind of settlement, but I don't know what. But it ended up where it is. I wondered if they got any compensation for it coming across, or? I think they got compensated the somewhat, but uh, it, it wasn't enough for the trouble they caused, having the farm around them. And, so growing up, what were some of your chores? Well, just helping helping feed cattle and, and helping in the in the fields. Uh, uh, whenever I was big enough, I'd learn how to drive a combine, and so I'd drive a combine while they would haul the grain off. Uh, that was eleven or twelve, thirteen. Yeah, drive a combine, and finally. I don't know, I was about 14 and and we were hauling some grain to town and I wanted to drive a truck and and so we took the back roads and I got to drive a truck to town to haul some grain. But most of the time I was I was on the combine and they didn't have any cabs or anything or power steering then, so. And you said, what is that? In, uh, it's kind of like a combine or it's out there, it's still there? A little swather. No, uh, uh, for grain or something. What do what you call that great big old thing that's still up there, out there? Oh, the tractor machine? It's before, the before the tip tractors or something, some kind of a... The old thrashing machine? Or that that's it. That's what they're called. Yeah. I, I, I never didn't know, uh, see it, uh, except just sitting out there. But uh, I didn't, I'm sure Mr. Watkins, you know, used it in the years ago. Did you have to do some of these before you went to school, or was it mostly summer work? Mostly, mostly after school, summer work, and on Saturday. 
graduated from Law High. MacArthur. Okay. And some of your chores, did you have any much? Uh, no, to do? no, I didn't. I, I loved animals. I was She's outside with animals all the time. I was spoiled, yes. Yeah. I loved that <laughs> one. Outside with cats and dogs. That wasn't fair. Have you heard the difference between the two of you? Six. Six, Six I guess. He, he graduated from Cameron. And decided to come back to the farm, or did you do something else before you came back? No, I, I decided to come back. I started, after I graduated from college, well, then I started buying some of my own equipment, and Dad and I farmed together uh, several different places. And, What's and the plan all stay. along, or just? That's just kind of how it worked out. I don't know if we had a plan. I just kind of kind of worked out that way. And what was your degree in? Animal science. So it works. And what about you, Mary? You had two degrees, uh, agronomy and then, and, uh, Yeah, he had two degrees. Yeah. I went to college, um, was going to be a nurse and took one semester, said that wasn't for me, so I changed to music and went for a few years in that and ended up quitting just to work full time and then went back, so I was going to go in back into computers and I got a job where I didn't have a chance to go back and finish up finally, so I went probably five and a half years and never did finish, but a lot of life work experiences, several different places. So I work for the health department now. A little bit nursey then. In the health department. <laughs> Clerical, yes. Nursing's not for everyone, is it? Not there, for everyone. She only went that one time. The, the uh, a friend of mine was a superintendent in Cameron for a while, and she's the one that talked Mary into the, uh, the nursing. Uh, profession, but she just, she didn't fit for her. <laughs> she like piano. Oh, that's okay. So what do you, for the next hundred years, what do you think is going to happen next? Are the Lord, I hope the Lord <laughs> takes me home. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Well, that's what everybody said, but I, I just thought, you know, when I had that stroke, because I've never been uh, sick, sick very much. Uh, I have had some broken bones, uh, my knee and my femur, but uh, uh, as far as uh, sickness, I, I, uh, I don't take medication. Uh, I like, I gave a lot of them, a lot of them uh, to, uh, when, that the doctor would prescribe, but... Uh, I, I, I've never been like a, I don't want to, in fact, when I record, uh, they retired, uh, everybody said, oh, you need, and the doctor that I worked for, they retired, and they said, oh, I uh, said, you need a doctor, and I, I said, oh, I don't think so, but anyway, they finally taped, and I told them, well, I'm a, John has a, his, her, his uh, fiance uh, was, looked for the, at the rehab and I knew this doctor uh, and uh, her hawk and she and so uh, I said I'll tell you what because this doctor uh, they didn't take uh, they had a waiting list uh, to uh, for new patients and uh, I said I'll tell you what if Dr. Polina will take me uh, well, okay, I'll take it. I'll uh, go. And, and she did. <laughs> because Nikki was a friend of hers. But when I, when, uh, I went to work, I mean, went to her, uh, uh, Peggy, Peggy had already told her, said, now you, uh, she doesn't like to take med medications, so, so she didn't give me any. I get a baby, since my stroke, I have a babysit. Uh, and then vitamin D. She said, you need uh, vitamin D3 so because of the uh, bro bro broken. And so uh, that's, a, that's a, the medications I take. That little stubborn streak has served you well, hasn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I Sam, I Sam, I <laughs> am. <laughs> That's from her side of the family. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to 
back up, I skipped one question too. How did how was the house heated? How, what was it? Wood or coal or propane. natural gas? Propane. propane. Wood. I mean, uh, uh, back uh, break break. This one. This one. Right. How was it? How was it heated? How was the earth oh, heated? Oh, propane wasn't it? Uh -huh. I know there's not too many trees, so I didn't figure it was wood. No. I think the the dark, the uh, trees uh, have been uh, there. I don't know how many uh, uh, tornadoes we've had. The first one was when the barn, and uh, they also we, there was a, a row of uh, mulberry. Oh, here a lot a lot of were uh, uprooted, and uh, this one out here. And, oh, I'm, I'm so sick of that because we had the uh, 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 ice tri uh, trim and uh, a lot of the trims had to be uh, and they, the deal, the people that did this, it just it, it looked awful. It looks, still looks, I've got a picture of uh, when it was a little few out here of my uh, oldest uh, sister-in-law under in a little pup, a bowl like this one over here sitting under that, that little that, that little uh, bowl. <laughs> As a baby. Father planted the, the two elm trees, the one out here in the front yard and then the other big one. He planted them whenever he was there. Yeah. Been there a while too, didn't yeah. it? And uh, this so tornado lifted the roof off of this house, uh, lifted up, yeah. put it back down. That's when they, they tore it down after that. Which one was done when yeah. they were teenagers again? Yeah. Seventy eight. Kids were here in uh, the hospital on the ho on the house in the house and my uh, husband and it were had gone to church and they were here and then and that uh, tornado came and she, he had to get in the Don't say that. <laughs> Talk about that. <laughs> they, but they couldn't get under the table table or so they did, <laughs> they got Pillows or just say we didn't make it to the cellar. That's a, yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing because when uh, when we got home, the door, uh, the cellar had been rolled off. The so they might have been, uh, told, uh, you know, caked it out of there. If <laughs> they had been in, they didn't know it until it was too late to go. You know. Well, there's no sirens. Doesn't look like no. now mm -hmm. out here either. So, no. and it sounded like a train. Yeah, it, nice, uh, nice uh, board in the, this house from that one. He kept saying that the tornado was over Fort Sill, and so I kept looking towards the north and west. I mean, all of a sudden I hear something crack and, and all that, and so then it wasn't. It was how, how have your neighbors changed through the years? Well, not really changed so much as most of them have passed away and, and, uh, and the places have gone down through the air. Uh, my neighbor across the road, is, is their family is still there. Uh, and pretty much the same neighbors, only just generations passing, passing on. Do you feel, uh, uh, it seems like some developments are popping up here and there close by. Do you feel like it's creeping a little closer to y'all? Way too close. Uh, here a few years ago where there was a development, uh, a quarter section of land sold. It's a half a mile. Well, it, it adjoins my, my place over here on the south. And uh, they sold it and divided it up and they've got 23 houses set on it now. Because we've got a real water system that serves those, those properties. So, yes, it's getting way too close. It's not, not near the country as it used to be. Mm -hmm. Too much more traffic, too much more trash, and too many more dogs. And I mean, they're good people, but uh, you have quite a little bit of turnover too. When people move out from town, maybe they split up or something happens. And, you know, it's it's changing all the time. Are some of the old original fences still up? Or have you Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> We can attest to that. <laughs> well, do you know what they were made of? They're older ones. 
I had my grandfather on this place, he, he put up hog wire because they used to have hogs and raise hogs here. And so he had hog wire for around the biggest part of this place, uh, which is showing its age. It's, it's still there, but it's re really getting rotten and all. But, uh, what did he use for the posts? Just wood posts. Uh, I don't know whether, probably cedar posts and, and boat art. They, they use some boat art posts. And I'm sure some of those are are still standing there, hardwood, so uh, that's pretty much it. How often do you have to walk the fence line and make sure everything's still? Well, I don't do so much walking. I'll drive around and make sure the cows are on the right side of the fence. And, you know, but uh, uh, once in, every once in a while you got to patch it up or something. A, tr a truck or a four-wheeler when you're driving around. Well, if I'm on the road, a truck, and if I'm a four-wheeler, if I'm inside, sometimes. No horse, huh? No. Horse is too hard to catch. And... Well, you don't have cattle on all of it, though, right? I don't have cattle in this place. I haven't had for the last two or three years. Uh, other places I've had cattle. And, uh, but with the drought, well, I've cut back on my herd somewhat. And, and since I hadn't had cattle in this place, well, last year I cut and bailed it for hay. And sold the hay all over. Well, it was pretty dry last summer, so did, did that impact what you did or didn't? It did. Uh, it, it helped in, the, in that it hadn't been grazing quite a, in two or three years, and so I had a large amount of growth. And with the fire danger of being what it was, well, I, I cut and bailed it just more than anything to suppress the fire danger. But as a sideline, I sold the hay and, and gained a little bit of income from that, so it helped. How do you keep up with the records for the farm? Nowadays on the computer, I guess, or? I do, I do on, on the com computer, the income and expenses, uh, not so much the amount of number of bales of hay or bushels of wheat or anything, but uh, income and expenses. And back in the older days, how did your dad do it? Uh, just his receipts and put them down on a sheet of paper and income on one side and receipt and expenses on the other. And, that's how you take it to the tax man, to the tax accountant. Well, Francis, you, you came through the Depression years, I guess, right? I, yes, I'm sure I did. I, but, you know, uh, everybody uh, was in the same uh, bowl. And uh, so I don't really uh, consider uh, that, that uh, sort of, I'm sure I did, but I, 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 everybody was very poor, and uh, so, so we were just the same. So, you mentioned you grew out up out west. What county or what town? Jackson. Okay. Jackson. Almost in, uh, almost in uh, Texas. Just uh, we lived. I lived out east of. Uh, I mean, west of uh, uh, El Dorado, which is a little. Uh, by old other way from uh, uh, on uh, from Altus and Olusty and uh, uh, of course we lived in a farm too and uh, uh, but anyway that's uh, we we had to uh, have a uh, uh, school bus you know to go to school. Olusty I think has a, a WPA library. Uh, they, they, they do. El Dorado, El Dorado has a library there, too. Okay. In fact, uh, when we, uh, this past year, uh, we uh, had there every, every um, I've forgotten uh, how many, but between the re school reunions, and last time is the first time I'd been there for a long time. But, uh, uh, we, we went uh, to the uh, uh, the library there across from uh, when the, where we had the meeting, and uh, it was the first time I'd been in there, but uh, had a lot of stuff. Hot summers and cold winters out in that part of the world, too. Oh, yeah. Where Just you? like here. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to add? We never did ask for the what, so the next 100 years, what's happening? Is there really a, a trust or? It's in trust and it goes past us to, the, to her kids. 
I don't have any kids, and so I guess the Watkins is the name. And, well, I'm going to have a cousin up in, in Edmond that they, they carried on, I guess. He didn't blow, was it? He didn't, uh, like, farms didn't. Uh, well, it's close enough to Lawton. Do your children think? Do you think they'll want to keep it up? Well, I'm I'm in Apache. My kids are in Norman and OU and Missouri right now, uh, so I I don't know what their plans are. My son's probably going to go into business management. My daughter's married to a guy going to psychology. They've never been. Good to the economy, so I don't. Know. John had my son had allergies, and so he just. He, he helped some a summer or two, maybe a little bit, but he uh, had allergies. He wasn't interested, unfortunately. I noticed on the sign it says homestead. Mm -hmm. did, did much thought go into calling it that instead of farm or ranch or? You know, he, he, made, he uh, uh, did that after he uh, had that uh, sign up there. He wanted. Uh, he was hoping that it had been, uh, he had worded it a little better, better, but uh, he didn't, and it's already up, and so it's, uh, it's going to stay, I guess. Well, a lot of them are called homesteads, though. I mean, if, if farming wasn't the primary uh, income source, they call them homesteads. Because yeah, well, you just don't understand the place, right? Yeah, yeah, homestead, that, yeah, that was the main reason I, I had this one. put it on this. Uh, uh, Grandpa, I guess he did start farming after uh, whenever he had family and all. Any favorite farm stories from your childhood or either one of you? Any of you? Gosh. Grandpa used to raise a good watermelon. Oh, that. yes, that's right. I, I thought about that a while ago. Wonderful. Yeah. Black diamond, was it? Watermelons. Mm -hmm. My uh, grandmother. But grandmother planted this yellow rose bush out here that's been going every year and oh, yeah. it's gradually kind of been taken over by thorns and my aunt planted asparagus back here that still grows mm -hmm. every spring. Only uh, the, this past year, uh, these, uh, uh, when uh, the uh, rose bushes and this sweaters, I, I don't, I think it's up gone. The, uh, the oak, uh, bushes uh, look like they're dead. I don't know, I, I hate to call them uh, dead, and, and I hate to uh, cut them down because they look so awful, but, uh, but uh, uh, I'm hoping they will come back. But, uh, and the asp asparagus, these, that has been up there for, uh, uh, well, I'm sure my uh, oldest uh, sister-in-law has uh, went into the, uh, uh, Went to a creek, I guess, and got these. What these are old, uh, you know, uh, uh, bushes, and so creamy, and they and they would only uh, bloom one uh, at early on uh, when the wind started running. That didn't last very long, but it. The, in fact, I got some pictures in there, but uh, that uh, and then the same with uh, asparagus. And it, I didn't take care of him because uh, I didn't like. Uh, 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 <laughs> but uh, but it, uh, I noticed John uh, 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 moaning the other day, so I don't know whether they'll come back or not. I did have a couple that came on uh, after on the north side of the uh, the seed, I guess, came flew, I guess the, uh, and there were two. Play, uh, two uh, deals out by the nest of, of the uh, bacon, but the bacon uh, foundation of the house. Con, con, yeah, there it's a. Uh, I hope they won't be as dry this summer and they'll come back. I hope so. Because mm -hmm. so. everybody will like, uh, I think. Uh, some lady uh, stopped out at the uh, the uh, road one day, and she came to the and she said, uh, "Where did you get the the, uh, uh, am, uh, the asparagus?" And I said, "Well, my grandma, my uh, mother-in-law uh, uh, planted that, and uh, it's been there ever since I've been here."
And you don't like asparagus? No. I, I mean, I will. I can eat it. Uh, but uh, a, a lot of a lot of people did, and uh, I share. But uh, put a little cheese on, and it goes goes <laughs> down better. Yeah. She doesn't like cheese. She said. <laughs> She eats cheese sauce at salads all the time. She doesn't like cheese. Well, before we quit, do you want to talk a little bit about what this is here? Oh, yeah. This is my uh, husband, I mean, my uh, uh, brother, uh, my doctor. Uh, I, I, I work so doctors, I call everybody doctor. <laughs> but, because I met uh, uh, my brother, mother in law, or father in law. And uh, I don't know. Uh, she how how long he's had this uh, long longer than I've been here. You made that magnifying glass. <laughs> well, the not the he had the magnifying glass, but we had to. I guess he had to keep it together, and so it, I don't use it. It, it uh, I mean, I can. So the farm had a shop on it. They had to make do their own repairs, yeah. that sort of thing. So did you learn how to do some of that? Oh, uh, a little bit. A little bit. Welding them? You got an old forge out there that grand, uh, I guess what my grandfather used whenever they were using horses and mules. My grandfather used to raise and break mules for working uh, back a long time ago. I hear that, but, uh, but since then my dad and he used a shop for tools and things, and then, and then whenever we built a barn, or, for, or second barn, well, then we kind of made it into a shop. Well, the farm's had you to be able to figure things out. How to I try to do what repairs I can, but uh, I'm not always able to, to do, do everything I like. Well, what about when you need a veterinarian? Do you, can you do some of that, or do you have to call and help for it? I'll generally try to get help. I, I can, I can, if cows have them calf, I can, I've done, I've helped pull calves before and, and I can do some vaccinating and done some dehorning, things like that, but uh, diagnosing problems, I'm not really good at, so I'll take them to the vet. You have to take them, they don't come to you? No, not, I guess they will, but I'd just rather take them if I can that way, a little bit less charge that way. I have a niece, nephew that is a vet. He's uh, he's retired now, but uh, he he's been he's been here one time or two. Okay, that, yeah, help, but, that helps. But uh, he's not in around, so we have one a neighbor out here that has a, is a vet out here in the country. Well, where do you take your things to market? To Lawton or? Up to, up the well, uh, well, I'll take cattle either to Apache or Comanche. Uh, I don't, I can get about as much at, at Apache for calves as I can take them all the way to the city with a lot less expense. Uh, take the wheat to to the Walters elevator, but they've got a they've got a le they lease a small spur, a small elevator down in Hewlett, and it's only four and a quarter miles north south of here, so so we can haul our wheat down there and, and dump it, so it, it works out well for us. And what about your father? Where did, he, where did he take his? He would take his to three different places. He'd take it to Lawton or Temple or Walters. Uh, it depends on which one was paying a better price. I, I'll i take mine to Temple or Walters, or mostly because I don't like going through nine traffic lights to haul a load of wheat. <laughs> That's pretty country out here, that's true. <laughs> old old hot uh, uh, trucks. <laughs> yeah, old trucks too. Oldest piece of equipment on the place? Uh, probably that 41M. Do we still have it? Still have it. Does it still work? No, it hadn't run in several years, but uh, it, it, could be, it could be running. Uh, my dad, after he got it, well, he helped uh, whenever they built the Highway 81 over by Duncan while they were hauling gravel from the, what we call our 80 down there. They were hauling gravel out of there. And so he said one day that he hauled, he had the old M and, and his own truck. And he said one day he hauled uh, 21 loads of gravel over there and dumped it. So that was 
probably a pretty long day for him. Mm -hmm. All hard work. He was still running in the plowed up field chasing cows at 80 one year when I was, when I was in the heat of summer. Daddy was out there running trying to chase cows. Well, all this work, what would you do for fun? You don't want to. I remember going in the summer, we'd usually go to Six Flags and, you know, take a trip there just about every summer. I remember the trip to uh, Branson. Ozark. Uh -huh. Dad bought a brand new tractor in 1967. And uh, with that, while well, we got a trip to Branson, Missouri, got three nights, three nights and four days or something, stay over there. Of course, they were trying to sell land over there, and it was a promotional deal, but still, we got to get away. And so we did that and went over to Table Rock Lake and and what's the name of the caverns over there? Uh, I forget what the name of the caverns are. Silver Dollar City. Mm -hmm. well, Carl. Carl. No, 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 no. Carl, man. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, how many ponds are there on the property today? On this one, sixty. Ah, uh, there's not really any pond. There's a small. It's it's just a, a holding. Really, the wash is what it is, but uh, we had had it deepened and uh, kind of made into a little pond. Uh, but for the main source of water for, the, for this place, it was just a well out there where the windmill is. Did you, was there any terracing done on the place through yes. the years? Yes, uh, my grandfather did that early early years. I don't remember what no. year. And are they still in place? They're still there. Oh, waste, and I was asking about ponds, wondering if you'd gone swimming, if that was some of the... <laughs> no, no so, not so, our so ponds. So we, we, we didn't swim in our ponds. Maybe fishing at a time or two. Yeah. <laughs> we can go fishing on the 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> John, John and Mama uh, go to, on July 4th, and they like to go uh, fishing on a tra in one of the tra places. And uh, I, I'm supposed to sit in the bank is way and it's cold, hot and everything. I, that wasn't my I didn't like that. <laughs> but I did. You used to go hunting too. Yeah, I did a little bit of hunting back when I was better shape than I am now. On the property or other pla other places? Oh just wherever yeah, on our property and in some other places that I had leased and uh, what's do you have any trouble with coyotes or that's that type of thing? No, not so much coyotes. Uh, you hear them all over the place, but uh, we don't seem to have that many problems with coyotes. More, more problem with coyote hunters than it. They want to come in on you when they're not welcome and that kind of thing. Trespassing. We noticed yeah. when we were driving around, some of the fences had tires that would say, keep out. I mean, is that the main reason the tires are hanging there, or is there another? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, just People coming out of town and maybe going fishing anytime they want, or hunting anytime they want, or, or even just, just being nosy, I guess. I uh, uh, had a friend came, uh, had me come uh, set up Monday and took to eat me to eat, and uh, and uh, when uh, I didn't know it until she, they came to our church and she told me that uh, she was born on my our 80 and uh, and uh, so she uh, when we came back from eating well she drove on back that wanted to go in but uh, the, the, uh, I said of course I, I have it rented and uh, so I, I said well I, I don't think that we can get in because uh, it's rented but uh, uh, and it looked like it but, uh, gate might be, uh, whether, I don't know whether it's locked or not, but anyway, it's, he's got it and, and I didn't feel like, uh, it was my play to say, yeah, you can go on in, because she wanted to, well, she said that there was a house down there where, where she was born, <laughs> and she wanted to see if we could maybe find the, the foundation <laughs> that, and there is a, 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 a well down there, but uh, I don't know where it was. And I, I, I'm, I'm to, to, I don't like exploring on that place. <laughs> well, 
Oh, is there a school somewhere close by, one of these one, one room schools? I attended a one room school my first three years of school, uh, and then they closed it down, and I had to go to Lawton. Well, we had a choice of going to Central High or going to Lawton Public Schools, and so they chose Lawton. What, what was it called, do you remember? Messing. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's actually one room? Yes. Well, had one one room for all the, all the classes, and then they had the bathrooms over here, and then the kitchen back in another room. But yeah, all the classes were in the same room. And about how many students? Oh, probably 35 or 40. In my first grade, now it dwindled after that, I think. Is the building still standing? It's, it's been made into a house, yes. It's pretty neat, too. That's all my questions. Do you have anything else you want to add before we we I'm move, sure we've got we a lot added <laughs> that I shouldn't have done. <laughs> no, you are fine. Well, thank you very much for sharing your stories today. Oh, thank you.